friend of mine got this old piano from uh, off of uh, Facebook the marketplace for free and he's moving and he it does not fit his decor in the next house so uh, he said I can come get it and so I got parts of it I'm gonna go get the, the rest of the shell later but I got all the information on it uh, as far as let's see if we can see this what kind of piano it is and I've got the serial number is like buried but I'm gonna look it up and check it out and see like how old it is and all that stuff but we're gonna make something pretty cool out of it okay now the journey begins where I'm probably gonna have arthritis in my wrist but that'll be worth it these things right here focus uh, I'm gonna have to take every one of them out and these pieces like I just took this one out right here and these pieces are very old and the wood's very good, like kind of cracks so have to be very patient but then gotta get all these out okay all done I got all those pulled out and then I ran, I ran into a problem uh, right here so some of these have red felt tips the, that are from the piano manufacturer and then some of the other ones don't and so if this is going to be a piece of wall art i'm going to have to mix them like red nothing red nothing you, you get the deal okay so i decided that um, i had enough of the leftover keys that still had the the red velvet i'm going to remove the, the tops of those and i think i'll be able to space them out and so every key will have a red velvet deal. It was just going to be too much to get like, I was like doing all the math. I was going to have to do for every th third velvet, I needed a one that didn't come with one or have one. So I like the red on the outside, the little red, I think it adds an accent and it has like, you know, that little bit of raised uh, look to it. So anyway, I'm going to take those out and then I'm going to do like a spread out deal to, and kind of even it out. And then I'm gonna put the mirror in and see how it looks. This old piano, these pieces, the, the keys, some of these tops were already kind of broken off because they're old. And so what I did, because I want to keep the velvet tipped ones and there's a whole box of non-velvet tipped ones. So what I've been doing is taking the ones that still have one and I'm just popping them off. And I'm gonna glue those and replace them all. So this is kind of cool. There's all sorts of signatures i don't know if it's from people who are, who tune the piano or what but they've all like I'm, f I'm finding these everywhere on the piano so i have no idea why that i wish i can like read it a little bit better elbow grease so check this out so this is one uh key that i haven't done and this is the key that i just i just took about three minutes to do to clean off the gunk from, you know, just from already playing the piano. So that's just for fingers. And that is just from stuff underneath. I still can probably do that, but look at the difference. That's cool. So I got a lot of work ahead of me. All right, so you can see where I'm setting this up. Has the one, has all the way to the 35th key, kind of goes around, making sure that's there. Once that's set up and straight, and so then I'll work around with the white keys and then I'll fill in the gaps incrementally with the black keys to make sure that, it, that it's all even. Yeah, so the things that I learned along the way. So some of these keys, they're made, how they make the, the actual piano itself. You see how these are bent out. So that's just a natural progression of an 88 key piano. So I'm having to want to, got to make sure it works within the circle and doesn't look funky. But this is after I've uh, used Barkeeper's Friend on and remove kind of just the junk and I'm gonna do it to these right here so you make a paste of the, of the powder with a little bit of water let's see how this works I'm not even putting any pressure on it oh that's crazy Okay, I'm back at it again. So I'm, uh, I read something online and I did read a bunch of different uh, people that restore piano uh, parts, pieces and all that stuff. But the problem I'm having, I want my white keys to uh, 
pop a little more, have a little more brightness to them. But because if you think about it, all the old uh, pianos, they just been in a, uh, for years, been playing in, indoors. You don't have any of that bright light. It's always like studio light type stuff. And then, you know, for this one, it, I guess had been just closeted for a long time. So it, what happens is it makes the, from what I've read, it makes the, the keys like really just dull looking. And so read online, a bunch of different people say, take them out into bright sunshine and let the sun naturally kind of brighten them up a couple of shades. So if that works, I'm gonna to try to brighten my teeth up. I just have to hold these things at like. But anyway, then I'll get skin cancer because I'm very fair complected. So I am gonna lay these out by the pool and see what happens. Okay, got, got all the keys done uh, with the hydrogen per peroxide. And uh, I tried to do a time lapse. I got like a quarter of the way in and I had it set up on my makeshift uh, tripod there. And uh, I had a spam call and I have it on vibrate. Vibrated my phone to where it goes boop. And so all you, all you can see is like a piece of the, uh, little wheelbarrow and then the ground so but i got enough but i gotta go back and do the lime juice now and then keep it out in the sun for a little bit so we can see if it actually will brighten those keys because if that works that would be outstanding all right it's lime juice time i've got it on the wrong setting but about to get it get it going hopefully i don't get messed up with the spam call so here we go <laughs> Alrighty, right behind me, got the uh, hydrogen peroxide on it. Then I wiped it down with uh, lemon juice. You just can't see that. Uh, so I'm gonna let it sit out in the sun for a little bit. Hopefully it kind of bleaches them, make it a little whiter. Cause that's what I'm shooting for. We'll see here in a little bit. I'm gonna go in and watch some football. Gig him. There was an eclipse earlier today, so I don't, I'm pretty sure that has passed. So not sure what that would have done anyway, so. Oh, <laughs> 